interrupt this program to bring you... Using this blue blouse top from Apple and Eve that Lazada sent me. At first, I was kind of hesitant because this looks like something Filipino moms would wear, and it gave off a professional, serious vibe. And if you follow me on Instagram or watch me in general, you'd know that's not really what I go for. So I knew that at first sight, this kind of top wouldn't make an outfit pop really. So I decided to pair it with this baby dollish dress to give it some kind of flair or something interesting. Wow. And I thrifted this actually in Fleur de Lis and Tandang Sora. And so I also decided to add these pair of Nike Air Force Ones to give it the same casual look in contrast to the top. And some cute decorative socks from Forever 21. And going along with the baby doll vibe, I put on some hair barrettes or hair clips and got them in blue and green just like my top. And this bag is a gift from my mom when she went to Malaysia, so I don't really know where I got it. Yeah, nice. See, wow, so pretty. Okay, next outfit. Okay, so for the second outfit, I'm styling this long black dress from Holiday Queen. So just so you know, I never wear dresses unless there's an occasion like a wedding or something. Excluding this, I only own like two dresses. And the reason for that is because I can't really style dresses since it's your whole top and bottom. So luckily for this, it's sleeveless. So I got the idea to put something under it, which is this really cool patterned polo I thrifted in Anana Station. I love the color scheme of the top so much. Like it, it goes so well, man. When you have a simple dress like this, I suggest you put something cool underneath because we've all seen our dress paired with a plain white top underneath but that's kind of boring honestly so don't be afraid to pair a pattern top even if it's a polo with a plain dress like this so cause plain over plain won't really make you stand out. And if you didn't notice, I folded the dress to make it look a tight mini dress because the original length was way too long. It was way past my knees and made me look much older. And the tote bag I got is a freebie from my watch which is now stained because of my art class in my freshman year of college. And I also added a pearl hair clip to go with that oldies look. And a pair of blue light glasses. And I really like the design. I might just change my current eyeglasses into something like this, actually. And then a really pretty shiny bracelet from GF and Co. Jewelry. So my body doesn't look too plain, you know. I added a lot of accessories. And to complete the look, I also wore this penny loafer style shoes I got from when I went to Japan. If you haven't watched this vlog already, watch it. I'll put the link somewhere there or something. Okay, let's go to the one last look. And lastly, for the third and final look, I guess with this outfit, I'm going for the baggy, sporty, don't care look. So don't judge me, okay? I'm not sporty, but yeah. But I'm looking a little plain, so why don't we mix it up, shall we? With this hoodie from Pen Shop. Bam! Wow, wow. I really like the color of this hoodie because it really goes well with my bottoms. Like the colors look really cohesive, so keep that in mind when you're pairing clothes together. But of course, this outfit does look hot, especially if you live in a tropical country like me. So if you still want to keep this similar look but less hot, you can do what I always like to do. Pair a plain top with an oversized polo. As for my thrifted polo, I used one in white to stay in tune with the monochrome look and then added this florally pants to make me look more feminine. And with these loose and comfy pants, I added the same color black for my tighter crop top so that the fit would look nice and cohesive. And having the same colored pants and top could also give the illusion of longer legs, honestly. And, and just like my floral pants, to balance this sporty-ish look, I added the same bracelet from the previous outfit and then I paired it with the black shoes from the brand CLN. Well, having this monochrome look make, takes me back to my 2013 emo days. And yeah, so that's it. Those are my three outfits. This last one actually has a lot of variations. 
So yeah, bye! Stay tuned for the next time's final episode. Call our hotline 639 blank 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 for your inquiries.